Hello everyone, my name is Virginia Kerr and I'm Professor of Voice here at the Royal Irish Academy of Music. It's lovely to welcome you today. I'm sorry I'm not in person, but um, I had to be elsewhere. But I'm delighted to be able to talk to you a little bit about um, the holistic end of the Royal Irish Academy, as well as hopefully having a wonderful musical experience here at the Royal Irish Academy of Music. We also offer a holistic experience. We, are, we approach our, the well-being for our students in a very holistic way. It's very important to us that our students are happy and that they learn a lot about self-care and being able to um, look after their own well-being and have a good sense of their well-being. And with that in mind, uh, I am the module coordinator of the performance psychology module. Now, within the holistic module, there is um, there are lots of things like mindfulness. We have uh, Alexander Technique. We have yoga. We have career management. Lots of different things that I'm sure I'm not I'm not listing them all. Um, I'm responsible for the performance psychology end of things. And you might ask, you know, what is performance psychology? And I think you could say it is really a study of the mental, the emotional, and the rational components of performance. So in order to perform, you know, we want to be in the best possible uh, place in ourselves, physically, emotionally, and mentally. And hopefully um, the lectures that I will give in performance psychology will help you to get to that point so that you know as performers what you need to reach your full potential and to do the very, very best you can. And it's really about knowing what works for you so that you can sing to the best of your ability, perform to the best of your ability when you walk out onto the stage. We do a lot about power walking, you know, you might be shaking in your shoes at the side of the stage, but then you're going to power walk out onto that stage and the audience is going to love you because they're not really thinking about what's going on for you. They're just here. We've paid our money and we really, really want to hear this person because we love her or his or her voice or we've heard they're very good or whatever. We love the students in the academy, whatever. So. That's really what the performance psychology module is about. We talk about the inner critic. We talk about boundaries. We talk about healthy relationships. We talk about dealing with conflict. You know, we can have conflict situations at times. And, you know, it, hopefully what we want to do with this, with this module is to, and with these lectures, what I'm hoping to do is to give you a toolbox that you can walk out onto the stage and you can walk, have your career and you have your toolbox so that when things like performance anxiety hit you or, you know, something happens, you dip into your toolbox and you know yourself, you have a great self-awareness, you know what you need to get the best out of yourself, you know how to cope when you mightn't be feeling so good and you can dip into your toolbox and you can take up whatever you need. So you have great self-awareness, that is key. I also like to work a lot with students around the balance. A balanced life is a happy life. So, you know, if you're doing too much practice or you're doing not enough practice, and maybe the balance of, you know, work and play is not so good, you have to look at that. How do you practice? What's the quality of your practice? What's going on in your head when you're practicing? Is there some little voice saying that wasn't very good? Or are you kind of going, oh, Facebook, I better check, or I better check Instagram, or I better check my Twitter account. So it's being able to stay focused and put a structure together. And really, I think for people, particularly coming from school, it's not easy to do that. You know, you've come from an environment where there's a structure. It, you fit into a structure that's already there. When you come here to, or go to a university, but coming here to this, to, to us here in the academy, there will be a structure, but it's up to you to make your own around that. 
So, you know, that can be sometimes tricky in the first, maybe the first semester or first couple of semesters. So that brings me on to student support leaders. We are so committed to you having a really happy experience here in the academy that, you know, we want to do everything we can to support you and to make sure that you're in the best possible place that you can be. So we have lots of lovely student support leaders, SSLs we call them, and they're taken from the teaching faculty and also from the admin uh, faculty or admin uh, departments and also um, from the student body. And sometimes going to a student can be great because they've probably been going through maybe the same sort of, or experienced the same sort of challenges that you might be experiencing. So if, for instance, you, you're finding, something, finding it tough going, you might go to a student support leader. It could be a student, it could be a teacher or whoever, and uh, tell them what's happening and say, you know, you might need some help. If they can't help you themselves, they will put you, refer you to somebody with the expertise to help you. And that can be me. And this is where I wear my third hat here in the academy as a psychotherapist. So if you have an issue and you're, you go to your student support leader, you can come directly to me as well. But if you go to your student support leader, they will possibly say, OK, would you would you like to speak to Virginia about this? And at the Academy, we offer four sessions which are funded by the Academy. And you can come to me, I'm a performer, I'm a teacher, I'm a performance psychologist, and I'm also um, a psychotherapist. So I have my different hats and they're all very unique and they're all very, very separate hats. So if you wanted to come to me to have some sessions with me, that would be funded. There would be four sessions fun funded by the Academy. If you decided you didn't want to go in-house, so to speak, even though my sessions would be held in my private practice, which is off-site, but if you decided, no, I want to go to somebody not connected with the academy, we also have the exact same arrangement for sessions with the Clan William Institute. So neither my, my uh, practice and the Clan William Institute, both of them, they're, they're not very far, 10 minutes walk from the academy. If you're having issues around, say, you'd like a bit of mentoring or you'd like um, a bit of life coaching or you'd like some, you're having time management issues or work structure issues, um, another member of the WIND faculty, Paul Rowe, is a specialist in these areas and you could go to see Paul and have four sessions with him. So, you know, you have, you have somebody who's there for mentoring, life coaching and time management you have the Clan William Institute and you have me for psychotherapy, for therapy counselling. So I think, you know, we, we really, I think we got you covered and we have your back. So, you know, we want you to be happy and we want you to have a great experience here because it really is a great place and there's so much, we have so much to offer. So um, I'm really looking forward to hopefully meeting some of you and, uh, you know, that you'll consider coming to us in the academy and that I'll be able to meet some of you, um, you know, in my, as a vocal professor, but also as a, as a lecturer, also as a psychotherapist. So, you know, we'd love to welcome you here to the Riam family. So please do enjoy the day, get as much out of it, ask loads of questions. Don't be afraid to ask. Always reach out, ask. There'll be somebody there to help you. There'll be somebody there to, to answer your questions and, you know, have some fun because we want it to be fun. And thank you. Good luck. <laughs>